something very cool about your career is the fact that you are self-made. You have been doing this since you were super young. You were teaching yourself how to write and how to produce in your bedroom. Where do you think that drive came from? Honestly, from being excluded from social life <laughs> i feel like uh no one really got me you know in my like small town in germany because i'm not i'm not technically from cologne even which is already kind of a small city i was like two hours outside mm -hmm. uh like countryside cows <laughs> grass um and i just um I loved music. That was kind of the one thing that I, I would always do, like always listen to music on repeat and mm -hmm. pop music in particular. And I would just harmonize and make my own little concepts and things like that. So I think it's just something that comes like natural to me. Um, but then I would just like sit down in my room and just really every single day because I didn't like school. I wasn't very good in school. I wasn't horrible in school, but I was like, okay in school. And uh, I was just like, I'm going to be the next biggest hit songwriter. And that's a skill I can work on every single day. And uh, yeah. And then I got into writing jingles for like commercials and trying to write for other artists, pitching songs. And yeah, I really felt like, feel like that is just like my, my savior is that I'm able to write music. Oh. Yeah. It's so inspiring to hear you talk obviously about like there's a lot of people that can probably relate to you of like being really isolated when you're younger not feeling like you're fitting in and just like trying to find an escape which you clearly found the best escape for yourself and it worked out what would you say to your younger self that like Kim sitting in her room alone just being like kind of isolated and getting picked on live a little <laughs> I, I would say that I was like really like a, a maniac just like only working and mm -hmm. I feel like my whole teen years like I didn't go to like parties I, I was like just like just fully focused and so I, I would tell myself to live a little and that things are gonna happen when they're supposed to happen and uh that 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 it's all gonna you know work out and that it's okay to go with your friends and it's okay to try and have a social life because like the answer isn't always just like well they all hate me so I just gotta be by, my, by myself and like be this like studio goblin uh <laughs> you know I can actually also just yeah but but also it was a little bit of a different time i mean that was like uh so long ago now i i legitimately didn't know anyone else trans and yeah. you know so i was an internet kid i would just find people online who i could talk to and things like that yeah that's why like the internet is i hate it and love it because yeah. you're so rare. like i remember when i was younger like youtube i would find like anything that you were going through if you were alone you could find someone somewhere on the internet on who YouTube loves the or same shit yeah yeah and so it, there's like a saving grace obviously of you saying like i didn't know anyone trans I was by myself going through it and I know you've been open like your family was very supportive yeah. of you mm -hmm. but still even when like your parents are like we got you it's like okay mom dad like love you but like I like yeah I need people my own fucking age to relate to and to connect to totally so I appreciate you sharing that I know you've also been a really open in your gender journey from a very young age that like you said at one point you felt very boxed in and labeled and that everything became about being trans and you just wanted to be seen as a person yeah. Which I can imagine it's like in every single interview, you're like, I'm an artist, but so many people want to also talk to you about being trans. Yeah. Where are you now in your career and your journey of having your own identity and accepting yourself, but also like putting boundaries of like, we don't need to talk about every fucking thing every single time. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's a unique situation. So I like to talk about it now because I feel like it's, it's something where, um, yeah it's just like a unique point of view and I think it comes in as my strength sometimes that I get to write from that perspective because like um that's always just gonna be a big part of me that that I am trans and I think that gives me in songwriting like such an interesting angle and uh, I think what what's so special about music is that just that it's like when I came to America and started going to studios it really didn't matter um who I was it just mattered like am I good is my songwriting good can I sing you know and I feel like the more art that I get to put out and the more music I get to make the more I become an artist rather than you know all the labels that people put on me and it's not just a trans thing I mean it's like if you're a woman and you make music people just talk about you being a woman in music or if you being a gay man in music or all of that stuff you know we all just get boxed into this label that defines us and I think 
trans people in general are a good reminder that gender and all of that stuff is just a label and it really is all about who you are in you know inside and and not about all the stuff you know just because you're this doesn't mean you have to like this or do this and mm -hmm. gender is is a much is a thing that matters a lot less i think and says a lot less about people than we think totally. and uh yeah you are whatever whatever you want to be and whatever's in your in your mind and yeah absolutely no i love it <laughs> no it's so true because it's like when you break it down it's like just let everyone do whatever the fuck they want to do yeah and it's stop trying to uh, just talk about people in one specific way no one would be happy if the roles were reversed and you're just saying one thing about someone we're all very multifaceted totally and every person is their own thing you know completely totally. and I, I feel like just just more than ever I'm, I'm just trying to you know show people what's what's in my mind what what you know what my music is about what I stand for mm -hmm. rather than you know all the just talking about being trans all the time completely <laughs> totally Hi, Daddy Gang. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind, that was just a little clip from the episode. If you want to watch the entire full video episode, it is linked below. It's the first thing in the description. Go watch it. It's a great episode. Love you all. I will see you next Wednesday.